Hello everyone and thanks for watching again today. I have a little bit of the flu so my voice sounds a little bit weird. But you probably just saw the clips of, of uh, a moth I just uploaded. Uh, what you just saw in the same video was uh, an old specimen of the Automeris metzli, uh, a moth species from Mexico. And the genus Automeris is uh, one of my favorites to breed in captivity, together with uh, Citeronia and a few others. But to the, today uh, I'm happy because the, well, the moth you just saw, the Automeris metzli, you saw flying uh, through the grass. A lot of those are hatching from their cocoons now and they are pairing and laying eggs. So I have a lot of eggs and it turns out they are very easy to pair. So that's great. The eggs are hatching. And here we see the baby caterpillars that I will try to raise. And I'm not sure if they're eating yet. If we talk about Altamiris when they hatch from the egg. Usually it takes a few days before they start to eat. But um Yeah, sorry for that. Ah like I said I have a flu. But I put some of their favorite food in here, which um is a mix of some um some willow tree, salix, and um also raspberry rubus. And you're probably wondering what? You didn't include some oak, which is arguably the best plant to use to breed this species, and I would agree. But it's very early in spring and I checked the oak leaf and no, there are no leaves yet. But uh, the other plants I included are early, so I'm hoping they will eat one of them instead. If they do, I will be lucky. Uh, it's a really beautiful species. The caterpillars are just so incredible, I'd love to show you. Uh, we have one video of them already, but I didn't take very good video footage of them. Um, this is just to start because here's some of the eggs. They lay a lot of eggs. As you can see, they're still hatching. All oh, these Automeris Metzli babies. Going to join their cousins soon. But yeah, that's going to be a lot of uh, Automeris Metzli. Now, this, raising these species can actually be tricky. I do not consider them uh, an easy species to breed. Uh, I tried them several times with uh, mixed, mixed luck. And most of the time, from my experience, uh, I failed to raise them to cocoons. Actually, uh, last year I did raise some to cocoons. I um, think I had about... I don't know about 100 eggs, and from uh, from all those eggs, I got about four to five cocoons. So that's a really low rate of success, and uh, it was a bit saddening, a bit distressing. So what I did, I uh, went online and started buying more cocoons to pair with my adults. So uh, there are two kind breeders that uh, offered me some cocoons for a good price. I was buying them. The moths are hatching now. And uh, we are early in spring, the plants are green, everything looks good. So uh, I'm hoping this time will be the time I'm really successful at making a nice big brood of these. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.